as part of the process to identify and prioritize uh, climate adaptation technologies within Eswatini, finance strategies are also required to ensure the uptake and adoption of these technologies. Work is currently underway to develop financing strategies for each of the prioritized technologies that have been identified. The financing strategy will really look to, number one, identify what are the key actions that would then be required to take these technologies from the research and development early adoption stage through to full market diffusion. So once we've identified those key actions, uh, we're then also going to look at identifying uh, who the potential financing sources are uh, for, for, for financing each of these activities. Furthermore, we're also going to look at what the government or policy and enabling environment looks like to really support the adoption and diffusion of these technologies. So the financing strategy is really looking to build a very sort of comprehensive plan that can be taken up for the implementation of these strategies. In addition to that, uh, the financing strategy is really looking to uh, develop a roadmap that can be guided um, by the, 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 the participants um, attending the, the workshop today. Today's uh, prioritization of water-related climate uh, technologies uh, coming from the private sector, uh, I was quite uh, impressed with the range of technologies that are being proposed. Uh, both hard and soft technologies, um, but also the, um, the manner in which those technologies are being viewed by the participants as to how they will help and improve uh, resilience. It's clear from the technologies that there's need for collaboration and partnerships between private sector and all the other uh, actors and stakeholders to ensure the delivery of a climate resilient water future for Eswatini. Given the challenges that have been identified or rather gaps that have been outlined in financing for climate smart technologies for adaptation, these include those that can be used for better forecasting um, as well as water use efficiency and um, creating a database for most of our climate data. It is quite imperative that we as, as, as sectors or interlinked uh, uh, partners, we try to adapt better and not just strive for having more technical and more modern solutions and take it a step back, if I may say. For instance, explore your type of uh, nature-based solutions that can be used uh, in forecasting better. Also, try to increase awareness in the triple P's not only at the national level, but also at grassroots level. For instance, you have farmers that are using a lot of water and cannot necessarily adapt to more modern technologies. If the markets such as your, 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 your industrial uh, sugar processing units are able to form partnerships with these type of farmers uh, to some extent and try to realize a, a more aligned benefit or incentive in doing so, it can help better in terms of the financing structure for the production of sugar cane.